Hey, it's me, Hello, it's back again today. Yes, I'm back, 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 Ding. And all that. I'm back. Yes, today we have Zorin OS 6 Educational Light Release Candidate. So it's not a real one, it's a release candidate. Now, I've had the solar system a couple of days now just to make sure that everything was working correctly because uh, well, a while back I've done Zorin, I haven't done one for a while. And it just started playing up for some reason and it just wouldn't play ball with me. So I didn't touch them for a while, wait until the next slot come out, which is this slot now. And they seem to be reasonably stable. No, yes, yeah, super duper. That's installed anyway, so yes. Yeah. So I'm not going to actually go through the OS itself, but being this is the educational version, I will show you what it's got. Now, being light doesn't mean light in Zorin language. No, it means 1.1 gigabyte downloads as a DVD size or a large USB sticky thing, okay? But that's okay, we can deal with that, can't we? Yes, we can. Okay, menu down here. Bear in mind, it's LXD stroke open box based, being the light version. Now, under accessories, you get your usual stuff that you would normally expect, really. Really. But under educational, we get blinking. We get educational suite G Compris. G Compris. Remember G Compris? Yes, you do. I'm trying not to sneeze now. Try not to sneeze. It's gone away. Okay. G Compris. Now I'm going to click here. Now it opens straight away, as you can see. You can probably have some music in the background somewhere. My headphones have blown my ears up. And basically, there's games for kids from between 2 and 10 to learn how to do stuff. So, for instance, if we go to 1, 2, 3 for mathematics. And we just do something simple, because I'm simple like that, am I? I'm going to do enumeration activities. What, what should we do? Should we roll the dice? Yes. Okay. Now, I've never done this before. So what have we got here? We've got five. So if I type in five, oh yeah. and we've got seven. So we type in seven, and so on, and so forth. So if we put in eight there, there we go. So it's easy peasy. We're nearly halfway done. Quite easy with a nine, that one, it? yeah. It's so easy, it's easier than an easy thing. And I'm not gonna do it all the way through. No, I'm not gonna do it all the way through. We'll go back to home, there we go. We'll go home and we'll finish that. Yes, I'm sure. But G compress is there for your younger children, uh, pre secondary school or pre high school if you're in the United States of America and Canada. Okay, so yeah, it's G compress out of the way. <clears throat> What next we got under education? We got the administration for G Compris, so you can actually keep on top of your kids who are playing stuff. You have GeoGebra for mathematical construction and appellettes. K Brunch, which is for fractions and stuff like that. K Hangman, nice little game again. K Stars for your desktop planetarium. I'm not going to open these ones. K Touch to teach yourself how to do touch typing, which is a very good program. It's been around quite a while, actually. It's pretty, pretty cool. Now, Calcium. Now, Calcium. Is the old table for stuff, okay? When it decides to open. There we go. The classic periodic table, okay. Well, you can change the settings so you can have it in classic, short, long transitions and DZs, but we'll keep it to classic. And we're looking for Sneakium. Oh, there's a Sneakium. No, that's not, it's tin. Okay. But yeah, it's basically how you want to do it. So if I can change it to long periodic table, like that, do a long one, or you can change it to short one, and we'll go like that. Which takes a lot of stuff out, or we go to the DZ periodic table, like so. Okay, you chemists out there and the people, you all know what you're doing when you're doing this. Okay, and you can do calculations and molecular editors and stuff like that, etc. 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 Okay, right next on the line, we have what it's worth showing you is Canagram, that's a letter order game, that's pretty good too. Geometric constructions with KIG or KIG. Marbles is your globe, your world globe. So wait a minute. Okay, we'll open them up. Here we go. Look, you can zoom in like this. Now it doesn't go all the way down. Okay, that's as far as you go. Okay, that's as far as you go. But it's all right. It's there, and you can get m most stuff. So if we go over to here, we go over to China, or Bangkok, or Taipei, or Manila. We go to the Philippines for a change. Yeah, we go to the Philippines. I'm gonna zoom in on the Philippines and see what's there. Oh, actually, everything comes up on the Philippines. Look, some of my friends live around here somewhere. I can't remember where. Anyway, that's that. So, marbles here for your globy stuff, okay? Next, under education, that's worth showing you is Oregano, okay? Not Oregano, Oregano, okay? This was doing the uh, electric circuits, so I'll quickly show you. If I, I'll put in a power supply place, and we'll put the power supply there. And we'll scroll down, we'll put, put a capacitor in here and place. And so on and so forth, okay? You can carry on doing all your stuff that you need to do. 
and it's very, very good too if you like doing old school circuits. Like me, really. So, anyway, that's that one out of the way. Getting to the end of the education section, you know, you've got Parley as well, that's here, Step. And you also get Tux Math, Tux Paint, and Tux Type. Now, these three are very, very, very good. You should have all seen them before. I'm not going to open them, but they are there for you to use, and they are very good for adults and children, or right? adults and children. So that's enough out of that out of there. Games, you get K Hangman again, so that's repeated and blinking. Potato guy's there as well. Potato guy, potato guy. And the graphics, <clears throat> diagram editor, as you would expect. Inkscape is here. Libra CAD for CADing and stuff like that. Simple scan, MT Paint, they're all there. For your internet, you get Chromium as your standard browser, but you can get any one you wish to do so. Office is just Abbey Word and G Numeric for your basic stuff. If you want Libra Office, go and get it, okay? You know what I'm saying? And Audacious dis, uh, Disc Burner, which is quite a And a Media Power. It's like the Disc Burner. It's an XF Burn, it should be. Yes, I know. It should be. Yes, XF Burn. There we go. So, yeah, that's all work, and it works super duper. You get some shortcuts on the bar here. You can change the desktop preferences by the right clicking the desktop if you want to do that. It's fine by me. You can choose different ones. There's only one uh, wallpaper here at the moment, so it's fine by me. We'll close that. Zorin OS Light Educational or Educational Light Release Candidate. Very, very, very good, actually. If you don't mind it, but I just don't think you should call it light, okay? For a simple reason, it's not very light. It's quite heavy on the downloady thing, isn't it, really? So, am I going to get that? Well, I'm not actually going to score it because it's only a release candidate. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't, but I'm not going to this time because I want to see what it's like in the field, in the real, maybe, in the real. But yeah, very nice it is too. Sneaky Linux going out to play. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.